Um, so today we're going to talk about when you arrive at your cottage in a cosy October, November, January evening, how to get started with your cosy log fire. Here at Tredethic we grow all the logs in the woodlands on the farm. Um, they're harvested sustainably. Uh, they're cut by John, who's holding the camera today, who's going to talk us through how to light your fire when you arrive. So when you arrive, there'll be um, a basket of homegrown logs, some kindling, some newspaper and matches. And that should be all we need. We've also got some fire lighters, which can help you. But as you get more expert, you'll probably find you don't need them. So have got a nice clean grate, which is how it will be when you arrive. You've had your, had your welcome tea and we're going to put some some newspaper in. You can either just scrumple it up like this, in fact the kids might like to get involved in that, or you can do what my mother-in-law in York does, she makes spells, which is where you, you roll the newspaper and then you tie it in a knot. Could be your afternoon craft activity. Throw them in so that they cover the floor of the fire. Let's just do a couple more here. Um, And then on top of this, you need to put your kindling. So this is the, the smaller logs. We'll leave you some little bits of uh, wood here to get the fire going to start with. And for your first fire at the farm, I would recommend a few fire lighters. So we'll leave you with some. You can just nestle a couple there within the fire. Let's do three. A little bit more kindling here. And to start with, we've got your bigger logs split here. Just put them at the side of the fire with the idea that you want your newspaper, fire lighters and kindling to catch light, but it'll also start to warm and burn these. And when you check on your fire in a little while, you can roll them over and add some more big logs on top. Let's just do that. Does that look about right, Jane? Yeah, just a, a couple would be fine for now, but yeah, that's, that's, right. that's fine. Let's see. I'm going to light the fire in a couple of places. Try and catch the fire lighters and the newspaper. There we go. And then we're just going to close the doors. And vent wise, lock the door there. Um, there's a fire guard if you need it for your little ones. And we want the vents, first of all, really open to get the oxygen inside. So we're going to pull these across like this. Um, and then there you go. You can leave it a while. Come back and check it in about 10, 20 minutes. Roll the bigger logs on and you're all set for a lovely cosy evening.